Okay, today I'm going to be putting homemade fluffy slime in my vacuum chamber. So I got this recipe from one of my subscribers. It's a really easy recipe to make. I'll put a link in one of the cards to the recipe so you can make your own. It's really easy. But it's really fluffy, fun to play with. There's a lot of air in this, so this will be a good candidate for the vacuum chamber. Okay, so what happens here is the liquid starch acts as a binding agent for the glue, and so it hooks all the long polymer chains together and makes a slime. Okay, it's looking like slime now. Okay, here's, here's the finished product. Look at that. <laughs> It's like I'm holding a brain or something. So first I'm gonna put it in just like this and see what it does in the vacuum chamber. And then I'm going to have it in this bottle and this bottle has holes in it. So as it expands, it's gonna extrude out the holes. It should look pretty cool. Also, I'm excited today because I got some new vacuum equipment. I got a better pump that should pump out the air twice as fast and I got a new vacuum chamber, has a better seal on top, so I should be able to get down to maximum low pressure. Should be really awesome. And more importantly, I got longer hoses and a quieter pump, so the pump won't be really loud in the video anymore. <laughs> okay, fluffy slime in the vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. See what happens here. So as the pressure decreases in the chamber, the pressure was the pressure that was in those bubbles is going to want to push out, so that's why this is going to start expanding. Here we go, we're at around 0.2 atmospheres. Getting bigger. I wonder if it'll fill the whole chamber or not. Uh oh, it's starting to expand faster and faster. <laughs> Here it goes. Oh no. <laughs> We're not even down to full vacuum. We're only at 0.1 atmospheres and it's almost filled the whole chamber. Oh no. <laughs> Getting up to the top. <laughs> Whoa. So it's still fluffy because I didn't let it expand all the way. So let's see if I just do a little bit. Okay, here's a more manageable amount. Let's see how big this gets. Three, two, one. Okay, we're at around 0.1 atmospheres. That's where it filled the whole chamber before, but we have a lot less now, so let's see what it does. Okay, so now we're really starting to degas it. So all those air bubbles that were in there, now they're making their way out of the slime, so it's going to start to decrease in volume. I'm gonna let it sit here for a while and degas, then we'll let the air back in and see how the texture's different than before. Okay, let's go ahead and let some air in now. It's been degassing for a while. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Whoa. <laughs> A lot less dense. Now it's just kind of like normal slime. A lot smaller here. 
But yeah, there's no more air left in that. Okay, I've got my bottle of slime in here with holes in it. Okay, fluffy slime in a bottle in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Here we go. It's expanding. <laughs> Whoa. Balancing out the bottle now. Uh oh. Let's see what happens here. Well, it's not really shooting out. It looks like the holes are kind of just getting plugged by the fluffy slime. So those are tiny holes for it to get through. I wonder how much pressure is in there. It looks like it's getting to pretty high pressure. It's gonna have to extrude it out. <laughs> there it goes. Looks like packing peanuts coming out. <laughs> Whoa, that looks weird. I know there's a lot of pressure in there still because you can see the foam's not even expanded all the way in there. So I think the slime foam is so thick that it's plugging the holes. So I don't know what's gonna happen here. Oh, my duct tape fell. That's what happened. That's really weird. It looks like pink packing peanuts that are coming out of the holes there. Okay, so we're at as low a pressure as you can get with this awesome new two-stage vacuum pump. So it looks like we could sit here and let it wait to continue to extrude out, but I'm gonna let the air back in. In three, two, one. <laughs> Let's check it out. So now we just have regular looking slime. It's not fluffy anymore. Yeah, so it looks like all the holes got plugged. So this slime still is fluffy inside of it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to subscribe to the Action Lab and leave me a comment in the comments section with any good ideas that you have, anything you wanna see me do or put in my vacuum chamber or crush in my hydraulic press or anything else sciencey or awesome-y. You can comment in the comment section and let me know, and I'll see you next time.